Hi, Kathy Golke here with more from my book, Nightbird Calling, and new giveaways, which I'll offer at the end of this video. I've been asked this question, why in the book in 1941 would you open a lending library right in your home for everyone, regardless of race, even though it incites the wrath of locals and gains unwanted attention from the Klan? Well, I'll tell you what inspired this. You'll read, you'll read what happens in the book. But what inspired this was when I was a young woman, after fleeing an abusive marriage, one of the things I did was to buy a trailer in a rundown community. It was really all that I could afford at the time. And there were children in the neighborhood that as I was outside fixing up, uh, came to see who the new person in the neighborhood was. And I befriended those children and they befriended me. And um, one of the things I realized is that they had no access to a public library, no way to get there. And even in their school, they were challenged. Their poverty challenged them. So I bought a used bookcase from a thrift store and went to yard sales and collected children's books that I could afford. And I opened a lending library right there in my trailer. And the children would come for hours and they'd sit. Um, they would talk about God. They'd ask questions about prison. One of their fathers was in prison. They'd talk about life. They'd talk about flowers and dogs and anything in the world they could think of. They'd draw pictures. And I realized that a lot of times they were hungry. I couldn't really meet all their needs, but I could make homemade bread and jam and buy milk. And we had wonderful afternoons. Well, sometimes the parents or grandparents raising them took advantage of this free babysitter in their community. But those were healing days for me and I believe for the children. So that inspired the library, the lending library in Nightbird Calling, and I loved it. So to celebrate that, besides giving away um, Nightbird Calling, signed copies of Nightbird Calling. I have two giveaways this time. One is, is thinking about Celia and her love of books and big words. This is a journal. It says she is too fond of books and it has turned her brain. That's a quote from Louisa May Alcott. And with that goes this beautiful necklace and it says, let your life speak. And that makes me think about Liliana. This was actually hand-lettered and even the paper made by Patty Paulus of, pa of the Palette and the Page in Elkton, Maryland. Patty does wonderful calligraphy work and creates her own paper. So these two things go together as a giveaway, and they make me think of Celia and Liliana. The other thing uh, that makes me think because there were three of the women, or a girl and a young woman and an older woman involved in the library, it was Miss Hyacinth. And Miss Hyacinth loved tea. She loved to have Reverend Willard come and read the letters from Biddy Chambers across the ocean. She loved to have him read to her selections from My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers. Miss Hyacinth is blind, so those tea parties and those visits meant everything to her. She could no longer read the books in her library, but she could share them. So this is the other giveaway. This is a beautiful teacup and saucer. It's from the Royal Albert Collection made in England with some classic tea selections. So these are two winners. This is one. And this is one. And both of these also get Nightbird Calling autographed. So all you have to do to enter is to sign up for my newsletter on my website. When you do, you'll get this free short story, Into the Starry Night, which is a prequel to Nightbird Calling. I mean, you don't have to read this before you read Nightbird Calling, but it introduces you to some of the characters. It certainly introduces you to Celia when she was a couple of years younger, Celia and her younger brother, Chester, and a few others. So if you've already signed up for my website, just say that in a comment. Leave a comment. Let me know that you've done that. Um, you can do other things as well. You can share this post. You can follow me on BookBub and just let me know what you've done in the comment. I look forward to sharing these gifts with you. 
and I will announce the winners on Facebook. I'll draw them after the week is done. So take care. God bless. I look forward to sharing with you one last time about Nightbird Calling with the giveaway. Well, it's probably not the last time I'll share with you about Nightbird Calling, but, but it is the last giveaway next week. See you then. Take care.